Hello everyone, and thank you once again for joining me here. My name, of course, is Mr. Mocha Lover, and we're going to do another historical battle, this time, again, from Rome Total War, as we uh, excitedly wait for Hearts of Iron 4's Man the Gun DLCs to come out. So, we'll do another historical battle today. As you can tell, I have the title of the historical battle in the title of this video, but I can't exactly which which one I wanted it to do. Was it this one? I think no. Ask Asculum. It was Asculum. So we'll play as SPQR or the Romans, the Senate and people of Rome. Ah, if only that was like today. Against a Seleucid Empire who uses mostly phalanxes. Very graphically different phalanxes. Oh, we got a, we have a lot of light infantry, some spears, and a, and some heavy infantry. Interesting. One, basically one unit of horses versus their one unit of horses, really. They do have some war elephants, but those will be taken out soon. So, of course. So, and then get quickly get to this loading screen with a few sips of coffee and then watch the cutscene and have a good time doing so. It is the early 3rd century B.C., and the military prestige of the Greek successors has reached its zenith in the person of King Pyrrhus of Epirus. But the fledgling state of Rome is trying to secure her supremacy on Italian soil. How great. The two cultures are about to clash at Ascalum in southeast Italy. After a day of inconclusive fighting in the forest and hills, Pyrrhus maneuvers the Romans into a head-on battle where his forces must win the day. Oh boy. Elephants and phalanxes against the legions of Rome. Can the Romans hold the field against the best Greece has to offer, or will they crumble and flee? Alright, so, oh good, thank you, thank you very much for pausing the game for me already. So this is pretty typical. Uh, we're definitely going to have to reorganize our front line here. I don't like how this is set up. I like the study like this. It should be something like that. Now, we already kind of examined oh, the enemy's army composition. Now, personally, when I play Rome to the Warp, I love playing as a Seleucid. Just because they have an extremely, or at least my opinion, an extremely wide ver, uh, variety of uh, units to choose from. Now, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to assign the heavy infantry and triorii to the front. Now, the Romans didn't do that. Usually, the triorii were the last ones in into the into the battle, but. I'm thinking right now I'm going to use my Hastati as a backup force, as my reserves, basically. Oh, actually, I want you over to the right, keep you over here, and actually, my Prince Pays, you, you do have naval fire at will. Cool. Let's just go ahead and get all of them. Oh, right, and that's a button. Awesome. So I think, are we attacking or are they attacking us? I don't think it really matters. Okay, so what we're going to try to do, the best way to take out elephants are to be using... Oh, is to... Oh god, they're running at us. Is to use Velvetes. Really draw, draw them out. Javelin men are the best for that. Oh god. Let everyone run, because since the enemy is trying to get to us as fast as possible... So that's pretty good. We have the front line pretty much staged, ready to go. Uh, uh, yeah, you should probably come back maybe just a little bit. I will muster them around when I need to. Go ahead and run. Back. I need all these guys to enable guard mode. And I want these velvetes to do this. So, I apologize for last time for the music being way too loud. I didn't realize that. I did lower it already a little bit, but obviously it wasn't enough. So, I do apologize for that. However, I have pretty much at this point, if you can't tell, pretty much eliminated any music 
whatsoever. But if you listen, you can still hear it. So, actually, I'm going to keep you back here. Go ahead and run. Uh, I kind of miss the new days of how they did this. You could just tell them to run Im immediately. Alright, so really, the, the elephants are what I'm really scared of. They do have cultists, but they do have, I think... Oh, they have light infantry. I think they have archers as well somewhere. Yep, they got slingers and archers. Let's see, what is that? Those are light infantry Sam Knights. You know what? I want you to go ahead and get rid of those guys. Alright, so we got these guys coming on up. I don't have any, really any body doing much. You can go ahead and charge. You can go ahead and charge. Uh, go ahead and fire. Uh, okay, my general, you might want to get out of range there. Go ahead. I just need you to do that. Actually, you guys. You guys can actually focus on those. You have 80. Uh, maybe stop skirmishing. Yeah, I'm going to lose somebody, but that's okay. Alright. Well, we're getting attacked in the front. I want you to peel off. I want you to come back over here. Take these guys out, perhaps. Oh, you guys are going to get demolished in the rear. But as long as you hold the line, that's what really matters. Send you guys this way. Uh, you should probably be pissing around. Let's go over here. Oh, we got another general to strike. You guys come over here. How's this looking? Light infantry is coming that way. Uh, looks like the horses, the horses, the big horses, the elephants all died. Oh, never mind, they're back here. Uh, mm, they're routing, which is good. I know I'm completely ignoring another side here. It's totally okay though. Go ahead and do that. You guys are doing mighty fine, mighty, mighty fine. I knew I'm pretty sure this battle wasn't very hard actually for us to do, but you know that's okay. I wanted something easy because actually I don't have that much time today, like yesterday. Really didn't have that much time to do things. Yeah, this battle's not too hard. Even on medium difficulty, it's pretty pretty lax. So they're retreating. I want you guys to come up there. You guys are almost all out of money. No, ammo. Money, ammo, whatever. Same thing, right? Go ahead and do that. Take your general. Come out here, maybe. So if you see their enemy generals over here. Where are you? Pencil phase. Uh, please. Don't do that. Now the elephants might finally be dead. Uh, we seem to be doing okay. We have a slight advantage right now. Defeat seems certain. Oh. Well, I mean, as much as I love the historical battles, they're obviously not very historically... They are try to be historically accurate, but they're not as accurate as they would have been. Because I was looking up, like, yesterday's. The ba Battle of Sinosefe, or something like that. Uh, there were way more soldiers than what Rome Total War would think that there are. There was, like, up to 30,000 soldiers in total, and we had, like, a few hundred. So, there is that. But, you know, this game at the time was just, in my opinion, was one of the best ever made. And so, it seems to be one of the best in my opinion. So, there is that. Uh, we've lost a guy. Uh, who are we fighting over here? Keltus. Oh, good. God be praised. Oh, good. The enemy general is dead. Go ahead and finish those guys off. We're going to rally approaches. our soldiers up. And then, yeah, this is actually a lot quicker than I thought it would take. But yeah, actually, I have already watched and seen... Actually, uh... Come back over here. Don't, don't, don't engage. You're kind of... Kind of not going to be doing so well, and the front line enti entirely broke. All right then. Okay. Well, that was that's a little too short for me. Ah, screw it. Oh, ten. Uh, there's seven. Oh, okay. Well, I guess we'll win that one. All right. Let's see. No. Uh, I think we've pretty much won. Is there anyone else that's not capitulated yet? Oh, over here they don't. Uh, let's see. We're gonna grab you. We're gonna grab you. We're gonna grab. Make you all independent. Put you down here. And I will have the horses... Strike those guys, maybe. Where are you guys? You guys are routing and broken. 
Alright, please come on back. Uh, I mean, I guess they're weighing them down or something. Very nice. Very cool. Not not too difficult. Anyone can do this. Probably. Probably. No, Alex Rambler, as well as ISP... Oh, not ISP, no. I was watching Remy, I think. Play. Their... The man, man the Guns... DLC. Technically, it was yesterday when you're watching this. So, Really cool, really cool mechanics. I really want to reform the second uh, Confederate States of America. The Loyalists versus the Constitutionalists with FDR, which is not exactly true if you know a little bit about American history. But regardless, that's not really the point here for that. Very interesting to watch with Trotsky coming back to power in Mexico. Uh, of course, the second United States, second Confederate in the United States. Oh, did you come back yet? No. Oh, actually, you guys are back. Yeah, that's good. Watching, I think it was Alex Rambler trying to reform the British Empire. Uh, you know what, guys? Just, just, just take a walk. Just walk, you know. Uh, yeah, don't run. Just walk. And we've got one last unit over here who is being a little poopy head. We'll call him poopy head, or unless they're retreating. They actually literally... Okay, they retreated. Very cool. So we've, we've got about 11 minutes or so. That's, that's, that's a little bit too short, so... Alright, everyone. So... The Battle of Asculum... Asculum? I think that's how you pronounce it. That was pretty short, like I said. So, I don't exactly have more time to really learn how to win some of these more... historical battles. So what we're gonna do to make up a little bit more time here... Is we're just gonna do a quick battle really fast we'll see what the AI or I guess the engine can come up with for us to fight with and fight against so I guess we're playing as Carthage I would assume on a desert map because Carthage if you don't know is from modern-day Tunis Ooh. men this battle is inevitable but victory hangs in the balance act with courage all noble soldiers and victory is in our grasp oh, you love the cheering now, take up the sword, pull on your armor, we go to test our courage in the fires of battle! Huzzah! Alright, is that it? Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and start our deployment. So, what do we have here, my friends? It looks like we've got some horses, round shield cavalry. Uh, I've always found that these horses are better than the equites that the Romans have. Let's see, so we have... We have a lot of horses. Oh, we got some Numidian mercenaries that do javelin horses. So what you really want are javel or archer horses, which are absolutely devastating if you know how to use them correctly. We got some elephants on this side. These are cannot be upgraded. Darn, you can't upgrade your elephants. That sucks. So that's on our left side. How is our right side? Since we are going to be forming stuff up. Oh, we do have a sacred band. That's like the this is literally the Spartan units from this game, the Spartan Hoplites. But apparently, I was trying this earlier with the Siege of Sparta that I failed at. These Sacred Band do not have two hit points, while the Spartan Hoplites do. So, it's good we got those guys. Uh, our right side is a little bit weaker in terms of flankage or flank power, just because we don't have Numidian forces over there. Our forces on our flanks, concerning infantry and spearmen, are somewhat weak. Or at least weaker than the... Sacred Band, I suppose. Everything is weaker than Sacred Band. You can form a Phalanx. Huni Infantry. What is this? Ooh. Light Infantry. Iberian. Iberian Infantry. Huh. Alright. Let's see. More Iberian. Oh, God, no. We, oh, we have Town Militia. That is really not good. Uh, I'm going to keep the two Town Militias together. I'm going to keep them on the left here. And then I'm going to shore up our front line with these two extra divisions. Soldiers. Oops. I'm going to try to angle them a little bit. Just because this is going to be an extremely defensive side. Just because the town watch is trash. I mean, the defense is okay, but the attack is so bad. They have poor morale. If they break, they could cause a riot. Or not a riot, but a rout. Which would be very bad to have. I want to put the, these guys over here because... Uh, these guys are really good at peppering down enemies. I want to actually bring the horses and elephants in a little closer as well. Uh, let's see, we're going to group them up together. What about the other side before we actually begin this battle? 
I don't, this is a lot of elephants, which is good. They're not, they're not like super strong, but uh, general arm, armored bodyguards. But they're still pretty good. There's a lot, but they're not like armored elephants. That's okay. And we got to see some slingers. We have some peltists. And we have, of course, our town infantry. So we don't really have that much missile. So for skirmishers, we are kind of fighting downhill. Which is never good. So I'm going to put you guys over here just in case. Actually, I'm going to put you out a little farther because you should be able to run behind the line when we get attacked. And slingers. Uh, since we have Numidian Cavalry on the left, we're going to put these guys a little bit further to the right. Oh, right. And let us... Oh my god, how many House of Skippy Eyes here? That's a lot of units. Holy crap. Their Cavalry on the left doesn't look very strong, though. Which is good. It looks like they want to engage. Oh, and these... And of course, I did... This is a quick battle, so all the unit numbers are massive. Oh, Equitites. Uh, go ahead, actually. We have Light Shield Cavalry. Oh, they're calling in their other units as well, their other horses. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to have the Elephants charge. And then I'll send in the horses as well. Oh, you know what? Send in the Elephants. Go ahead and engage if you can. And send the cavalry up this direction. Alright. Oh, we have already routed those guys. Very good. And our horses are charging into the enemies. So let the elephants go ahead and do their job. Which, their horses are fighting by elephants. And equites from the Roman side are just so bad in terms of missiles. Go ahead, they can already fire. And that's, they can already fire their missiles. Yeah, that's fine. I think the horses will be good enough. We should have enough here. Yep, they are starting to rout. Yep, they're all starting to rout. They are dying by the barrel load. Not really the barrel load. Go, come over here already. And that was really good. We already killed off a bunch of the horses. We have probably, it looks like we might have a slight advantage. And let's see. Okay, so this is a little gamey, of course. I can pause, but... They have Velvetites, they have Principes, Hastati, they have Velvetites, Principes, Hastati. A lot of Hastati, a lot of light and heavy infantry, but not too many spears, which is good. We can already go ahead. Go ahead and charge that way. I will send the horses over here. And it looks like our Numidians are we're firing at least a little bit at the Priori. Principes are loading. I'm pretty much using my elephants as a suicide Plot. Actually, you know what? Go ahead and just kill the Velvetites off. Uh, oh. Please tell me you're gonna run back. Go ahead and charge. And I will send in the town militia after you guys. Oh boy, that was a bad idea. I sent them way too far out. Please send the general in. Go ahead. Go ahead and try to engage these guys. They are running kind of fast. I don't want you guys to charge this way. Send these horses. Not into that group. Send the slingers into this way. And, oh, uh, the other elephants are getting trashed. Oh boy. Aquatites. You guys go ahead and pepper those guys down. And there go the town militia. Oh my god, they... Ah, oh, see what exactly? They were counted. They started a route. That's what I didn't want. Exactly what I didn't want. Oh my gosh. Stadi. Infantry. Where are my secret band? Secret band aren't doing very, any, very much of anything. Well, that was bad. That was very bad. I swear I'm an okay general. This is not going as well as I thought it would. So, obviously, we're going to try to regroup on the right. How are you guys doing? Oh, uh, you know, at that point, you might as well try to charge straight into their line. i got to make sure my general stays alive, though. Oh, I swear. Okay, general. How are the other horses holding up? Where are you guys? 
You guys are out of arrows, or I guess things to use as arrows, or javelins. You guys are routing to hell, and you guys are getting destroyed right now. Velveteets, uh, come back over here. If I can regroup you guys up, that would be great. Principes, it's fine. Don't need to armor up right now. That's fine. Actually, if you guys... You guys come over here. You guys come over here. Dust Adi, go that way. Uh, go ahead and charge those guys. Our general is doing fine, and surprisingly, we're doing okay. Probably not to my skill at all, but, you know, whatever. Uh, ooh, that's a lot of guys. Oh, but they're gonna get crushed anyway, so... Let's see. That's good. Just go ahead and tell the elephants to run. Have a good time with the Prince of Pays. Send in the general. <clears throat> Very good. Slingers are trying to run away from enemy horses. You know what? You wanna pull garbage like that? Go retreat. I will cause my horses to strike into their Roman armored generals, which is fine with me. Anyway, I'm sending in my other unit as well. A bunch of garbage. Do you do stuff like that? No, no, no. And the Numidians are doing fine. Yeah, they're charging in. You guys go ahead and help kill the Hastati off. And we should have the battle for the most part. What are you guys up to? Nothing? Just kind of hanging out? Well. Uh, they're charging, so that means they can't lower their spears. And, oh my gosh, look at that, how high that guy flew. Ooh. Oh my gosh. I would be terrified. There isn't that many guys, though, when that happened. Let's see, how, how's this? This unit is fighting. Oh, they're actually just kind of chasing. You guys, go ahead and get the Velveteats. Everyone is retreating, and how is our general? They are warmed up, and they're going to hurry up and try to kill those guys. Oh my gosh. Well, the Roman armored generals, they're kind of tanky. But my generals are also quite tanky. Go ahead and stop running. You're winded, which I don't like. They're marching. Let them tire themselves out, and then go ahead. This is the, the most important part of the battle. Charge into each other, boys. Oh. Not as glorious as that elephant charge. 27 versus 48. Well, one of the generals on the field will die today within a few seconds, hopefully. And hopefully it won't be any of us. Are you guys running away, just chasing enemies down? That's what it looks like. And we have won. So, what are the casualties? So we killed about 22 and a half, 22 and a half hundred. This and we've taken about 1,500 victory. casualties. Oh, wait, no. We've taken about 1,100 casualties. While we helped reduce the enemy's numbers to about 460 from 2,700. Well, with that in mind, guys, thank you very much for watching. I'm going to end here after this quick battle. Yes, it's less than half an hour long, but there's only so much time in the day. And, I'm, and we're really all anticipating the Man the Guns DLC that is coming out very, very soon. With it. Like I said earlier, thank you very much for watching. Subscribe if you're new here. And I will see you tomorrow with not Rome Total War, but something else. Probably another Total War game, but something else. Thanks again for watching.